Ray Raven here, and you know, as a child growing up in New York City, I developed quite a fascination for games. Oh, let me explain. I come from an extremely large Italian family. Yeah, well, we all played games, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I think you do. Like, for example, uh, my Uncle Petey, he played the three-card money. Phenomenal. His son, Petey Boy, three shell game. Incredible. But our favorite game was played by our grandfather, Salvatore Caval. We called him uh, Sally Boy for short. He had a, a really young face. It's a New York thing. He uh, played a game that used a, uh, a little red ball and a paper coffee cup. Now, it was a game of wits, and uh, Grandpa would hide that ball under one of three places. And if you're able to figure out where he hid the ball, you won the money. Uh, he either hide it underneath the, uh, the cup, right? inside the... Uh, closed hand, or he'd even put it back inside his pocket. If you're able to figure out one of those three locations, the cup, the hand, or the pocket, you win the money. Seems easy, right? Uh-uh. Sally Boy's got fast hands. Check this out. Hello. I know, right? Now, not only I said he got a, a young face, but he's got an amazing personality. I like to think it runs in the family. He, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I, he would let them play for fun at first. He wanted to build their confidence, let them win it, right? Once the money comes into play, though, that little red ball, a little tougher to find. However, it doesn't go that far. It's, uh, in this case, uh, just underneath the cup. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> now, you know, God rest his soul, little old Sally boy, love him to hearts, to, you know, to death, I should say. I love him to pieces, I should say. But I gotta tell you, he cheats. He uses a, a, a little trick cup. Now, you would never be able to see it from the top or the bottom, but he uses his finger. A good one. He puts it inside, just touching the tip of the ball. He pushes solid. We're solid. I know, right? OMG. But wait! There's more. I always want to say that. But there really is more. Grandpa figured out everything. He put a little portal inside. Oh, what's a portal? Well, nothing. Just like a time machine. You throw the ball inside, it completely disappears. All right, not completely. It's got uh, what they call a little trap door in it. I gotta be honest with you, in the old days, uh, the old pups had a thing where you had to like twist on the cup or like tap on it or bang on it to remove the red ball, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Okay, so anyway, that's the old school. This is the future. This one here has a little light activation built inside, like a one of those hand sanitizer machines. You remember those days, huh? Just forget about it. Uh, look at this, all I gotta do is put my hand underneath and uh but we boom! It does look at the ball. I know, right? But I gotta tell you, you never want to play this game. Grandpa, he's a great guy, but he'll cheat. He'll let you win when he wants you to win. But if he wants you to lose, change the game completely. And just when you think you might know where that ball is, it's no longer underneath the cup at all. But it's back inside. The clock is, I know, right? I told you he's got fast hands, but when he adds the element of misdirection to it all, forget about it. In this case, I'm gonna use a uh, little piece of wood. A lot of people, uh, magicians, will use wands. I'm not a wand kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? It's a known fact that the eyes can't track more than two items at a time. You throw a third item into the mix, it'll uh, make you dizzy. And that's what Grandpa was hoping on, that by uh, seeing three items, you wouldn't know where to look. And before you knew it, <laughs> well, that ball uh, actually traveled back inside the cup. Now, that happened kind of quick, and sometimes it'll even slow it down. Amazingly, you can keep his hands open, and just like that, that ball actually travels, look at that, right back underneath the cup. Now, it's at this point in time I notice a lot of people quit the game. But I was worried about that. I said, you know, they're all leaving. He said, grandson, don't worry about it. He said, uh, forget about it. i show you what I'm going to do with you. He said, ladies and gentlemen, come on back. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, Grandpa did what he called the sucker move. Just when the people started to walk away, he enticed them a little more. He said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to make this as easy as possible. All you gotta do is watch the ball. There's only three spots you can bet. Either the cup, right? We talked about that. We got the, the closed hand or the pocket. Link your bet. It was at that time I leaned over to Grandpa. I said, they've seen you put it in your pocket. He pushed me away. Link your bet. We all bet on the pocket. I've seen him put it in the pocket, even me. <laughs> it was at that time I think Grandpa with a big smile. He went over to the cup and he left it and he said, you lose. Yeah, yeah, I learned two valuable lessons that day. One, uh, well, Grandpa was never going to give me my money back. And two, he actually showed me how his shenanigans work. How do you think I learned magic? Now, normally he would uh, do this under the secrecy of uh, the cup of the hand. You'd never see it happen. 
I got a cool way to show you. Give me a glass. Check this out. I'm gonna try to demonstrate how I can uh, take this ball and have it um, magically travel uh, from my closed hand into that glass. I'll even do it uh, with the cup over it. I'll do it in three seconds. Watch closely. Keep your eye on the cup. Watch closely. One, two, and three. <laughs> Just like that. Look at that. This is uh, from the old school. This is done by uh, Sally Boy, my grandpa. And this is a game you never want to play known as the, uh, well, the Little Red Ball. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And, oh, before you go, you know, uh, the cops down are stupid to this kind of shenanigans, right? They see the cup, the ball, the stick, especially. They know this is a condo. Okay, there I said it. But uh, Grandpa uh, Sally Boy, he had that all figured out. Like I said, how did you think I learned that? He'd take the ball, he'd give it a little bit of a squeeze until he changed it into a uh, little square. Well, more like a cube. A cube of sugar. He dropped that inside. The cops are running down about halfway. He sees them coming. At this point, he just picks up the cup. He pours himself a, uh, a cup of uh, black coffee. So just like this, uh, just like that. And then uh, just before the cops uh, reached the table, uh, Grandpa realized that... Uh, He's more of a sweet and light guy. Yeah. So, uh, he poured himself a little bit of the uh, cream as well. There we go. And folks, by the time the, uh, cops, uh, reached the table, uh, well, good old Sally boy was just another gentleman drinking another, uh, plastic cup of coffee. So, uh, moral of the story is, uh, you stay away from a little red ball and I'll keep drinking my little <laughs> cup of coffee. Thanks.